and going into new computer animation tutorial using Wic Editor. And what we're going to get into today is creating an advertisement for a person or an object or a product of any kind. And uh, how to bring an image of something and clip out the background using Pixlr. And then adding in some edited, uh, you know, text and, you know, uh, lines about our product or person we're, editing, we're advertising. So let's jump over to Pixlr and go to pixlr.com. We'll choose Pixlr E and go to create new. We'll choose full HD and title this advert. And just click create. Now I want to do a Google image search for whatever you want to advertise for. So again, could be a person, product, um, really anything that you want to advertise. Could be a musician maybe, has a show coming up. I'm going to copy and paste this so that I did a right click and copy and then command V to paste. And now I'm going to crop off the extra space with the crop tool. And what I'm going to want to do is try and get rid of the background space. That's why we're using Pixlr here because we want to get rid of the background uh, people and things like that. Just focus on what we're trying to advertise for. So uh, depending on the kind of image you have here, um, you might be able to use the magic wand tool to click once and select the background. Um, you may use the lasso tool to kind of select the outline of something. Um, but I'm going to try out using the draw mask tool. Really good for kind of complex shapes like person, people. Um, so if we go to draw mask, we're going to go to this brush icon click on the size and I'm going to turn the size up really high for now and make sure you have remove from mask selected. So as I click and drag around here, you'll see that those areas where I turn red are going to go away. And so basically what you're going to do is just kind of do that continually and decrease the brush size. And you may want to use a hard edged brush as well. But for the beginning, it's good to use a soft edge brush, just as a little more forgiving. Because we just want to get rid of that, that angry face guy right there. You know, and all this stuff in between. So we can focus on the image at hand, really, right? So um, the other thing is in case you mess up or say I was to accidentally um, go over a place that I didn't want to, we could go to add to mask. Um, click and kind of bring that area back with the green and then you could go back to remove and try to go along the edges and remove just the areas that you don't want to right so get rid of this frumpy face over here <laughs> but anyway so you would continue that process until you get that all the way um, good and so I'm just gonna skip to one that I already have finished and so once you have it all clipped and erased, you're going to want to go to File, Save. And we'll want to make sure we have PNG selected and click Download. Now we can jump over to Wic Editor. So go to wiceditor.com, click a new project here, create. And so what I want to do is uh, bring this into Wic Editor as an asset. So what you want to do is click on the Upload Asset button and then click on your PNG file from your downloads. And then I'll just make sure that there's a frame on this layer here for me to drag and drop this. And I'll drag and drop the image into my stage. So now what I want to do is maybe zoom out just a little bit here so I can grab the corner and hold the Shift key and click and drag to shrink. So again, make sure that you hold the shift key. That way you shrink proportionally. I'm just going to put him off to the side for now. All right, the other thing I was going to do is put in a background image. So I've already got an image queued up again. So I'll go copy image. Um, we are actually all set with Pixlr for now. Or actually, we need to save that image. <laughs> Yukon Court. Yep, actually, we don't need to put it use Pixlr, but we do want to save this. Just go to Save Image As and uh, save that image to your downloads. All right, going back to Wic Editor. Sorry about that. Upload another asset. We'll want to choose the image of the court that we saved or whatever background image you choose to use. All right, we'll add a new layer here. 
I'm going to title these layers now so that now that I can keep track of them. So I'll call this court or background maybe if you're this is your background layer. So the further down a layer is lower it's going to be further back. So that's where we want to click to put the frame on the first uh, spot and then click and drag to bring our background image in. All right, so again, I'm going to hold shift and click and drag from the corner until this fits and covers my stage area. Now, the other thing I was going to do is turn down the opacity of this image so that I can see through it and see where it kind of lines up with my stage area. So now I can make sure it's pretty well centered. And I'm actually going to leave the transparency down just a little bit so that my text stands out a little bit better uh, in front of it. So now I kind of want to expand these frames so I can start to get into the animation. I think I was going to drag this all the way down to about 60 frames. Right now our, our document is, is set to 12 frames per second. So that means 60 frames would be about 5 seconds. So I'm going to name this layer as uh, book. And this will be the layer where whatever you're advertising for should be. And so I'm going to make a tween now and bring this image in from the side into the center. So hitting this diamond here, add tween. I'll scroll ahead, let's say about two seconds in. Click uh, on the add tween button again. And now I'll take and drag the image that we're advertising for here, in this case the basketball player here, and enlarging him so that when he comes over he'll get larger at the same time. So as I hit play to preview you'll see him get larger as he moves over. Uh, the other thing we can do is make him uh, go from transparent to um, to solid. So we'll just turn down the opacity, clicking on where he is over here, and then just hit preview play, and we'll watch him go from transparent to coming into focus. All right, so now we'll keep on going with adding in um, some text boxes. So let's add a new layer here, and we'll bring this all the way to the top, and we'll call this text. We'll click to add a frame and then click on the text tool. Click anywhere out here, backspace to delete and clear out, and I'll just start to type in whatever we are advertising here. So maybe I go Big East Leading Scorer, because that is what I'm advertising for here. James Book Knight, Big East Leading Scorer. I'm going to click on this with my cursor tool and then go to choose a different font. So I'm going to choose something kind of bold for mine. Um, you might want to choose something more uh, delicate or cursive if you're at, depending on what you're advertising for. But scroll through, check out all the fonts. Pretty good collection here in Wick Editor. See what fits what you're advertising for best. So I think I'm pretty happy with the boldness on this one. Yeah, And then it saves your texts here, so you can go back and find which font you wanted. Um, so we can also do some editing with the colors of the fonts. Um, so we can do a fill color here, and we could also change the outside line weight. So we can give a white outline or a black outline, which can sometimes help the uh, text stand out a little bit. You can also just take and stretch the text in order to make it uh, bigger. You don't have to just hit in the, uh, the text uh, size box. You can just stretch it to whatever you want it to be. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to bring this text all the way off the stage here. And then just kind of scroll ahead and um, pull this frame out so it's the same length as the rest of them. And so what I was going to do next is uh, add another tween. So after he kind of comes through, 
or maybe overlap them a little bit. I'll hit the Add Tweed button, and then I'll scroll ahead a little bit further, and then click and drag my text box over here, and that will kind of make that move over there. We can also add a rotation to this if we want to. So if you click on the first diamond of your tween, you can do easing, and you can also add rotation. So if I wanted to add one full rotation to that tween, that will make that text box rotate as it tweens. Um, then the other thing that I was playing with was making it go from larger to smaller. So if you want to make this kind of text box go big and then small, you just kind of go ahead a couple frames, again hit the add tween button, and then click on your text, hold the shift key, and then just click and drag to make your text get bigger. Go ahead another couple frames, hit the add tween button, click on it, make it smaller again. And then we can go ahead another couple, add tween, click, make it bigger, and then maybe we do one last couple frames ahead, click, and make it smaller again. So let's give this a preview play here. So we've got the player coming across and the text kind of pulsing with a little bit of the animation to it. So um, the only other thing I think that I was going to demonstrate here was how to add a little bit of a smoke graphic kind of coming from behind them. Um, may or may not apply to what you're trying to advertise for, but I just was going to throw that in as kind of a finishing touch. Um, for your advertisement for this assignment piece, uh, we would want to add in a few more text boxes. Just kind of saying some other things. I'm going to add this as smoke. Um, but for this particular demo, tutorial, I'll just keep the one text box in. Alright, so I'm uh, going to draw this with my brush tool. Make sure you have your smoke layer uh, selected or whatever other um, graphics you're going to add in here. And maybe I want this to start just as he kind of comes into the stage and the focus. So maybe here around the 14th, 13th, 14th frame. So I'm actually going to drag this over here. So I have another frame right here to start to add uh, this white smoke that I'm going to draw with the brush. So just kind of make like this small little uh, cloud here, fill it with the paint bucket, and then what I want to do is hit that add tween button, scroll ahead here, and then what I'm going to do is make the another uh, add tween right here select my smoke and stretch it so that it uh, kind of goes with him. Oops. So it looks like maybe the fill, this happened to me once before, so I'm undoing, going back, my fill ended up on a separate layer from the uh, line that I drew. All right, I think it went onto the same layer this time. So I'm going to hit this Add Tween button again. Let's see, move ahead, add tween, click on this with my cursor, try and stretch it. There we go. Yep, looks like they're both getting larger now. Oh, nope, they're both separate. Which layer did this go on? I guess I could just delete it. Um, oops. All right, so actually this was on, was on the wrong layer. <laughs> undo, undo. <laughs> I think... What the issue was, let's see, undoing, <laughs> sorry about that. I could try and lock these layers up, but I have this layer selected. Sometimes it just likes to draw on other layers. So let me see where this went now. Okay, so I'm just going to click Command X. It went on some other layer. Click on here, Command V. All right, I think they should be really together now. And the way I can tell is if I click on something, the layer where it's at, it should highlight. Okay, one more time. Third try is a good luck charm, as always, right? Hey, nobody's perfect. But anyway, there we go. Looks like it's on the same layer. When I stretch it, it'll get bigger. 
and I will also make it kind of fade away. So when I hit preview play, we'll see that as he moves across, you've got that little poof cloud kind of coming behind him. Um, and you can do similar things with underlines and other kind of uh, animations like flames maybe or something like that that come off the back of the item that you're advertising. So um, there we go. There you have it. A little tutorial on editing photos with Pixlr and adding them to a Wick editor animation. You'll want to export your animation as a GIF. So we'll click export um, and export GIF. If we want to change the name of your project, click on the gearbox here, change the name of your project. You could change background colors, frame rates, things like that. Hit apply and then you are good to export your project. So hope you guys have a good time getting creative with your own advertisement animations.